Hi everyone, my name is Matt, and welcome to another Hobby Hour tutorial. Today I want to share a simple and easy way to make magnetized movement trays for rank-and-file game systems like Warhammer Fantasy. Here are a couple trays I made for my Vampire Counts army. All of the models have magnetized bases, and the underside of the tray has a sheet magnet too. Each model has a small rare earth magnet under the base, and the trays are lined with steel. Let's go over some supplies first. You'll need a pencil, some Plasticard, I'm using 0.03 inch thickness here. Next you'll need some basswood for the edges of the tray. This is 1 8 inch square, or about 3 millimeters. Basswood is hard and much more durable than balsa, so it's a better choice for this project. You'll need a metal ruler or straight edge, a hobby knife, and some super glue. Use your ruler or some bases to measure the size of your tray. I like to start in the corner because I know it's a perfect 90 degree angle. Make sure to add the width of the two sticks to each dimension, plus a little extra wiggle room for the bases. Generally I like to add a couple millimeters. When in doubt, add a little extra room, because the paint adds thickness to all the bases and you don't want to make a tray only to find out it's a hair too small. Mark where you need to cut with the pencil, then use the straight edge and knife to score along that mark. Plasticard is really easy to cut. You just have to score it with a knife, and then snap it apart. Next we need to cut the wood sides. Just measure it against the edge of the tray, and cut two lengths for the front and back. For the side pieces, remember that you need to subtract the widths of the front and back pieces. Glue the wood down to the plasticard, starting with the front piece. Use enough glue to make it stick, but not so much that it oozes out of the joint. Then glue down the side pieces, followed by the back. Then leave it to dry. Next we need to clean up the edges. I'm using some sandpaper and a block of wood. Think about how you want the profile of the movement tray to look. I like my trays to have the same angle and finish as all the bases, so I hold the sanding block at a slight angle. Now that the sanding's done, you could stop here if you want and paint it to match your army. If you want to magnetize your models, you'll need to line the tray with something magnetic. In this case I'm using sheets of steel flashing which you can find in the roofing section of most hardware stores. Measure the steel against the inside of the tray, and scratch a mark with the back of your hobby knife. I like to mark it a couple millimeters from the edge. Then use the straight edge and scratch a line all the way across. Use some tin snips and cut the steel to size. I found I can get a cleaner edge if I cut it a little wider first, and then come back a second time. Repeat for the other dimension and test fit, then sand it down any sharp edges. I like to use super glue and accelerator to attach the steel. Drip some accelerator onto the plastic, and then put a generous amount of super glue on the steel, and give it some firm pressure for 30 seconds or so. Lastly, if you want to magnetize the bottom of the tray, you can use some sheet magnets. I got these off Amazon. They're sticky on one side, so all you have to do is cut it to size with scissors. All that's left to do is texture and paint the trays to match your army. I hope you found this tutorial useful, and if you did, please click the like button. Don't forget to subscribe, I have a lot more content coming in the future. Thanks for watching, and as always, happy painting. 